Hello, 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 and welcome back. So, uh, since we actually found a medium mech, even in a half skull, uh, you can see I've went for, uh, two salvage that I could pick, just in case there happens to be another one here. Uh, it was only a difference of 30,000, which, uh, I kind of want the money a little more. Uh, but the chances of me being able to grab up a, uh, a mech that's usable, uh, maybe, you know, if I happen to run into another bushwhacker, for instance. Um, yeah, that would be, uh, that would be kind of worth it. What do we have? Unknown mech? Uh, we're going to reserve and just see if they're going to come at me. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Uh, we do, we also leveled up our pilots. I now have Master Tactician and I have the Gunnery on Glitch, uh, multi target. Ooh, is that a fire truck? That sure looks like one. Uh, honestly, most of that. Uh, Inferno. Acid can be bad. 20% increased damage, and it does stack last two turns. I think all these last two turns in stack. Haven't double-checked all of them. Inferno, a little uh, heat buildup. Oil. Next time you fire your weapons, you get a little extra heat, and paint is a negative hit percent chance. Fire trucks, if they have, like, the taggers on them or narcs or something like that, I, I'm a little more worried. All right, it's, uh, yep. we're going to sprint way up here. We're going to get everything in sight. You've got hostile contacts inbound. Just see what we got here. So we got a Jenner R, technical, what's technical? Usually technicals are pretty bad, and they're honestly, even when they're fully armored, they're not uh, makeshift. They can be, honestly, pretty easy. I mean, that Jenner doesn't have much. It's going to ignore some of my damage, but it is a Jenner, so it's like, eh. Uh, double SRM-6, double rocket launcher, two negative medium lasers. Ugh. Okay. Yeah, so it's going gonna, it's gonna to ignore a fair amount of my damage, but that's, uh... I mean, honestly, if... Can I get eyes on it over here? If I can't get eyes on the Jenner, I'll probably just shoot at the fire trucks. Okay, now we actually have uh, Ace Pilot here too, so I can fire and then pull back a little bit. Hopefully out of line of sight. I don't think I really gained enough there to do that, but uh, that's kind of the, the general uh, wish that you would hope for. 32, 28, 26. I mean, small difference. I really would like to take the Jenner out. So we're going to go with that heavy PPC. Nothing. Whole lot of nothing. Yeah, that's fine. There's plenty of things for you to step on in range. Uh, I do kind of want to keep the, the Javelin because it is the least evasive of my pilots. A little bit out of sight. So we'll kind of swing him here, try to use a little bit of terrain here as a block. Ooh, uh, really got some damage done on that leg, though. I have no idea what that was. Oh, was that the technical with the light rifle? I think it might have been. The thing is, uh, that Jenner has so little evasion right here. I almost think we go up and we take the shot. With any luck, we take a leg out. I mean, that's maximum evasion for my for my javelin here. And I still am kind of blocked from some of this over there. Uh, just not nearly as much. But if I can cripple... There we go, just like that. Uh, that should allow me to really probably take the, uh, the Jenner out, I'm hoping, with my other light. So we're not going to be able to quite get full evasion here, and we're a little open to maybe some back shots, but we're gonna we're gonna try to open this thing up like a tin can. There we go, engine destroyed. Good stuff. 
I really hate when you turn that on. Uh, th there's so much space right here that could be used. This is what I mean by I I'm just not happy with this game in all regards. Like, I realize some people are, are not going to like this. I like turning on the UI. I like being able to see what I'm shooting, where I'm getting hits in. Uh, but they, they, for whatever reason, well, I'll wait till they're done because we can just look at where the the standard thing is, and then I'll show literally on my next attack. Ooh, Venom actually took a few hits overall, but nothing terrible. Ooh, snub nose. Okay, so you can see when you click on something, you know, to look at it, it's right here. And when you turn it on, I want to be able to see what I'm hitting when I'm firing. The thing is, this is prime real estate on my UI when I'm firing, and I want to be able to read everything that's popping up right there. I want to be able to see the damage numbers a little more clear. You just shift this damn thing over here a little bit so that it's uh, maybe even maybe even break it up into a couple parts where uh, it sets on top of itself. You know, here's one part, set it right here. Here's the second part, set it right underneath, and here's this. So instead of horizontal, it's, it's basically a vertical piece of the UI over here. Because I really like to know what is going on. Obviously, I could see the engine destroyed, but I couldn't read most of that. Because I want to see what's going on, but the game has decided, yeah, uh, that's... Uh, It doesn't matter what you want to see, uh, the UI is just going to get, kind of be where it's at, no matter what, which I think is just kind of poor design. Kind of poor design. So anything that this guy steps on is dead. But uh, it's especially true for a, a weaker vehicle like that. Thing is, I've already I've already put some work into the uh, fire truck, so I was hesitant... I was really hesitant to uh, take a shot at the fire truck. Lots of evasion there. However, this Locust P, uh, two uh, pirate machine guns, and a small laser. Uh, yeah, I was a little hesitant to... Uh... I don't remember what I was saying now. Who knows? Uh, again, this is the great thing. I, l I love Ace Pilot, especially on these, these long-range kind of fire supports. Because I could take that shot without having to to really lose my my accuracy bonus and then still begin to move because I'm kind of wanting to crawl up here. The battle will probably be done long before I get up there, but that's the general direction I'm heading. Orders. Waiting on you, Commander. I mean, I open myself up to a back shot here. Yeah, well, not too bad if I angle it more like this. So they could still get back shots on me if they want. But we've got the back shot on the Locust. And again, Locust, paper thin armor. They're only 20 ton lights. They're really meant for scout mechs and maybe dealing with, uh. Ooh, fusion core. Goodbye. Engine destroyed. They're really kind of more an anti troop type thing. Ooh, what do you have? Narc Beacon. Is that really maybe the most dangerous thing on the field? Ooh, AC-20 Devils. Um, two SRM-6s, that could be kind of dangerous. Snubnose PPC, honestly, we've kind of killed all the stuff that's not very dangerous. Oof. It's a uh, 50 damage. Yeah, I don't think it's really worth it. I think we just take the pop shots here on the front. Actually, I don't think we do. I think we try to step right on the front of that, because that will be a kill if we hit either of those. If we hit the sides, though, uh, nothing. Or if I just, you know, completely whiff, I guess that's an option, too. My javelin does run a little hot, so I have no problem. I don't think that uh, he'll be taking too much fire there. So I, I wasn't too worried about him having the most evasion right here. 
Uh, looks like I got hit with the acid, so I do take increased damage. The only other thing that really can target me is the javelin up here, though. Um, I do like the way this mod just keeps your evasion up all the way throughout the phase. When you shoot at a light, it doesn't lose evasion pips, because that really means the, uh, the mechs, honestly, in my opinion, in the base game, are very vulnerable to... What's, what's a good word for it? Uh... They're very vulnerable to just getting blown up after you shoot at them a couple times, and I, I'm just not a big fan of that, especially when you're... The AI is not very advanced in this game. Uh, it's, its targeting is generally questionable. Sometimes units just meander around. So you're fighting usually two and sometimes even like three lances, or like two lances and four turrets. What you'll find is that the, the light mechs just... Uh, they lose their value incredibly fast because the... Well, I enjoyed like changes to the damage overall in the game, and I thought they did a the the area I thought they did a good job with this game is the the adaptation of a uh, miniature game into a video game. I don't think they actually went far enough with it because some things like the evasiveness the, of just kind of all mechs and the hard ability to hit has not translated well. But this makes light mechs extremely vulnerable, uh, especially when, again, combined with the AI not being, honestly, all that much better than what it was in the backer beta. Uh, it's slightly better, but really not all that much. It just, uh, turn off a medium laser here. Oof. We really wanted to hit with that uh, PPC and just blow that uh, mech to chunks. Yeah, I could see that. Uh, it looks like the javelin didn't really move. I, I have to, honestly, probably come forward. Um, not going to be able to get the AC-5s in here, huh? That's fine. That's fine. I was kind of hoping for a chance on those AC-5s while I have a good hit chance, but uh, no dice. No dice. Ooh, 46, but it's the Vindicator. It's the one that can take it. Ooh, the best. Uh... Yeah, okay, so there's a crit on our XL engine. You can see that uh, nothing went through, but uh, that was a tack, a through armor crit, which have been added to this. There's very low chances of it happening, uh, but it's not to say that it is not here, especially with, you know, very heavy hitting weapons and things like that. So, again, Venom's very fast. It's got a very high fusion core, so I don't really have to... Uh, kind of sprint each time with it, I've learned, um, in order to gain maximum evasion. I lie, I only have six here. I don't have the full seven. So I guess you do have to sprint. Oh, T3 patchwork materials. I really want that. Fusion core crit times two. Lost its evasive. Okay, that's something. Gotta be careful of the narc beacon. Did it not shoot the narc? Did it miss again? The world may never know. Ready for orders. Hmm. I am scared of that AC-20 up there right now. This thing has no evasion. I'm almost thinking I just ignore the fire truck for now, and I just try to take the Irby out when it has no evasion. Because once the Urban Mech's down, I could still take the... Oh, I should have torso twisted as much as possible. I uh, tried not to let that get a back shot and uh, made it harder on the ja uh, Javelin up top. I think I hit something good. You did, but you did not hit nearly enough there. Okay, my evasion's still carrying me, though. Still carrying me. Uh, my vindicator's gonna be very hot here. Nope, didn't quite, didn't quite catch it there. Ooh. 
That snub nose PPC, that's actually doing some work for him. That's a little more dangerous than I had honestly thought it was going to be. I mean, we just take the shots at the back of the fire truck. It's really all I have sight on. And pretty much miss with everything there. I'm receiving you. Because it doesn't have the evasion. I'm going to burn a little bit. What do I, am I... Oh, that's right. Uh, engine crit, so... Yeah, it's going to actually be a, a pretty decent round for me to have to repair after this. Got it, okay, Gyro Ultralight Destroyed. That's a little sad, because I really do want one of those. I'm, I mean, I really wanted the, the triple bushwhacker, or the double bushwhacker I picked up in that one round. Uh, was it worth it? Oh, now I'm narked, so I am a little little worried here. So the Narc Beacon it makes it easier to hit. It doesn't tell you how much, though. This thing's got so little evasion up here. We're going to try to... Uh, I mean, those are much better chances to hit. No, those are about the same. So I'm going to bring the Arc Welders into uh, into this as well. Try to get that snub nose damaged. Mm. Not a lot happening there that's uh, very good. How's its heat? Uh, heat's not bad. It might not fire the snub nose this turn, though. That would be kind of nice. Um, fire truck it can really be targeted by... by my cicada. So let's, uh, let's see if we can't maybe... Pump a few more rounds into this javelin, because again, next most dangerous target on the field. It's not moving a lot. Ooh, we did get inside. Uh, structure exposed. Fusion core crit. Didn't quite get in. Well, we got into the goodie jar, but we definitely didn't really uh, punish it too badly. My, my poor Vindicator's running so hot with that uh, fusion core crit. Are you going to swing at me? You, you really need to go for that other leg on the other side, though. That's where, that's where you need to go. Oh well. Order. Hmm. Again, I really like the jump jets. Just it's so much better for positioning, especially on something really, really that runs. Because you don't just have to move when you use Ace Pilot. You can also jump jet. Mean. I could have taken a shot a few turns ago, and then probably jumped up into here. And, I mean, I'd be more on even ground, I guess, is the uh, the way to put it. I mean, because I, I think I could get right here and then start maybe getting some shots in on, like, the, uh, the scorpion there or something. Not going to happen here, though. And we're going to have to go in way closer than I want to with the cicada. I've honestly taken some pretty pretty decent shots this round though. Order. That thing's got a lot. What do we got? Uh, Narc beacon, machine gun, fluid guns, double SRM6. Try to get my back uh, kind of. Actually, I probably should have faced my leg. Probably should have. Ooh, 89% chance and we miss. Boo. Okay, vital component destroyed. That's good. A lot of times when you punch through the vehicles, you will have that happen. Thankfully, my narc beacon's kind of protected up here on the hill. They can't quite see it right now. I think we just try to punch through the back, because this thing's armor is not in great shape. It's not going to be quite maximum evasion, but it's close and they don't have a lot left on the field that can really deal much damage if I take it out. 
Okay, gyro crit. Snub nose PPC crit. Great. Snub nose PPC offline for now. So now I don't have to worry as badly. Yeah, you can do that all day. I, I don't care. Uh, you lost your, your ability to really be dangerous to me. Uh, I think this fire truck is not went, so I think we come down. We need to cool off. We'll still fire the arc welders. They, I think it's five heat apiece. Yeah, five heat. That'll still let me cool down a tremendous amount. And 60 damage, too, if I hit. Okay, come on, arc welders. Oh, well. Obscuring paint, so a little harder to hit now with my Venom. That stinks, but, uh, you know, not... Uh... Alright, just just take it out. Come on. There you go. Alright, and we're just going to keep bringing the Cicada forward. I mean, honestly, I can't, uh, I can't get a hit on the thing. Let's see, it's my right leg. Honestly, it gives him a back shot, but I'd rather he shoot the back than try to pop me in the leg. Square my back up to him. Okay, so reinforcements are done. And all they got is that little Venom up there. Or Venom, Javelin. I'm confusing their mechs and mine at this point. Honestly, taking a fair beating on all of my lance. Nothing's nothing's too bad. I didn't lose any pieces or anything like that. So it's not like I'm uh, you know screaming in trouble at this point. But uh, uh, probably should have went in a little closer for those arc welders. Knocked down, gyro destroyed. That guy's in serious trouble now. Oh, I guess we got the engine too? Must have just missed it. So yeah, this will probably be 12, 17 days, and only like 60, 75,000 to repair, I'm thinking. Um, I mean, that doesn't, that barely covers my drop costs, and unfortunately there's no medium this time, so... Maybe I should have went with the extra thirty grand right there. What do we have? What do we have? Anything good down here? Narc beacon, probably. Um, SRM sixes. I don't have any of those yet. I think I have extra ferrous fiber. Ooh, having extra fusion cores on hand is always good. Double heat sinks would be nice. Uh, tier 3 patchwork materials. It's 0.75 tons. Hmm. Ooh, 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 ooh. Tracking, targeting, ballistic, and a spiked helmet. Okay, so. Uh, two injuries resisted plus 10% melee damage. Uh, Tracking targeting system, ballistic, uh, plus one accuracy with ballistic weapons, plus 25% increased critical chance, and a 10% increased range. So, uh, that really starts, uh, yeah, we're, oh, I love you, Narc Beacon, but, uh, sorry. Sorry, not right now. And the thing about the spiked helmet is this is going to replace your cockpit, and it's a, uh, Two ton, two value. Um, I mean, you save a ton and you actually get no negatives off this. Well, if you look at the small cockpit, again, this was a choice that comes with one of your choices in attributes, and I would, I would almost never take this. Uh, negative one accuracy, and accuracy is so important in the beginning of the game. It does, it does actually net you one extra ton. I will, I will give it that much. So if you're... I think it actually might take less slots, too. Yeah, it only takes one slot. So it opens up an extra slot and an extra ton. 
but for negative accuracy in the beginning of the game, and you'll find small cockpits. Uh, they're 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 all over the place. Uh, I got to pull a ton of armor off. Oh no, I don't. I have a free ton. Uh, so I'll have to figure out a way to uh, get that get that case on there when I eventually find it at some point. Uh, another urban mech set of parts. Oh, we did get the Narc Beacon, we did get an SRM-6, and we did get a Fusion Core. The randoms were well worth it. Thing is, if you look at this, this tells me I made almost 5 million in salvage. If I sell everything here, there is an, it's about a tenth of that, uh, if not less. I wonder if salvage is actually not worth more. I don't think I'm going to check it right now, but I would be very interested in writing down and seeing what uh, the, t the total amount I could get out of a mission. I think this one was like 300,000. And then checking it versus uh, versus what I have here and just looking at what the sell would be of everything here. Just to, just to see. Uh, so the, uh, the extra salvage on the random finally pays off. I don't think we've really gotten anything that we've wanted. We've got some stuff that was okay. It was it was kind of middling on the list. Like I believe I got some urban mech pa parts last uh, last round, but we're keeping our we're keeping our head above uh, above water. We have a base defense up next. Defending all the buildings is really hard to do. It's it's something I'm not really going to probably be able to do, especially if there are some mediums that come in with the the other things uh, the other lances that they have, because sometimes you'll find two and three lances attacking the base, and they'll just pop up on the opposite side of the map. It's not so bad here. Uh, definitely when I have my very slow lances with, like, uh, Steiner, it's, it's pretty easy to see. So, oh, wow, that's, that's far less than I would have thought. I am going to have to take a few extra days to get the Vindicator up and rolling, because I did get some crits on him. So let's manage tasks. Uh, we want the Vindicator at the top. Because I'm going to have to repair the engine on it. And... Uh, we're going to go into the bays, because that, that plus one accuracy is great, but... Uh, I mean, I, I can't complain with... I think it was 25% extra crit, and the extra 10% range is nice. So that brings, like, the AC5 10% extra range up to, you know, 48 It's like 520. It doesn't seem like a lot, but, uh, you know, every little bit helps... So, I have, I think that's, it takes two slots. I don't have slots for it, do I? Oh, no, it takes one slot. Um, do I really want it? No, I do not want it in the arm. So, where would I even be able to put a case onto this thing? I would, I would essentially have to pull off some ammo. How much, how much ammo do I get with the caseless AC-5s? 23 rounds? I would probably pull off the, the AC-5 ammo, if I'm going to be honest, and put a Case 2 on here. So, great stuff, though. This will this will help immensely. And since I haven't really had anything damage this game, because this is all about dodging, 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 we'll, we'll pass the timeline real fast. I'm sure everybody's generally seen this, so you might as well just skip the video if you know what's going on here. Because I'm just going to show how you have to repair when things actually get crit. And you got to be careful about some things getting destroyed, too. Because you have to completely replace them. But you can see the uh, fusion core and the engine uh, did get hit. That, that was attack going through. So what we do is repair all. So we're looking good. It is going to take 11 days to get that done, though. Which... Uh, sucks, but it, at least I didn't lose the fusion core of the XL engine, because I would completely have to rework this mech from pretty much scratch. And then we just go back and manage tasks, because that is the longest one, so we don't want to be working on the short ones uh, while the Vindicator is not being worked on, because then the Vindicator basically has to go through the full 11 days on top of, like, it would be a day to get these two fixed, which would be 12 days. So what I do by putting the Vindicator up here first is, uh, while the second mech bay is working on the Venom, it will basically, when I hit that 11th day and the Vindicator is done, the Venom and Cicada will be done in two days, and the Vindicator will be done in 11 days. 
So, got to switch. It's, it's only a day, but when you save a day and you're kind of always thinking about the money, the money can mean a lot. And we'll be able to get another mission in before this, this month is out, which is just great news. Great news all around. Anyways, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. A little bit harder of a mission, but, I mean, not harder. A little little less luck on my side. Definitely some good shots from the opponents there. It happens, though. It happens, and you just got to be... That's why I'm nervous about going in against the some of the bigger medium mechs all over the place. Because I'm just not sure I can cut through all their armor and just really fight that RNG enough without taking them down quickly for it to be not a disaster. It might not be, though. Uh, just hopefully we'll get another Shadowhawk part, though. That would, that would pretty much take care of things. Anyways, enough blathering. Until next time.